meeting lots of new people here at Paradise today. Zach Bobbitt is one of the guys I'm meeting. He's 23 years old. He has driven lots of different things here. He's been here for eight seasons on and off. He's currently in a 600 micro, four wins for him, by the way, this year. Came up from a 500 Ninja, which I didn't even know existed. And of course, he ran carts here starting in 2012. How are we doing today? Good, how are you, Doug? Good, so sounds like we're in pretty good shape this year. We're having a good season? We are in pretty good shape here. We are uh, 2022 track champion. Track champion. Congratulations. Uh, four wins on the season, as, as, you, as you said. It's been a successful year, I'd say. No, okay. no real bad luck up until about three weeks ago. We heard our first motor of the year. Oh no! But other than that, we've had we've had a pretty well maintained season as far as the car goes. Okay. Our so, motor is easy to find, or were you able to fix it, or no? Motors are easier to, easier to find. Uh, getting the parts for the internally to to build them up to what we want them to be is tough. Okay. So, so you bought one that was already ready to go, yes. basically. Yep, okay. Now, I didn't know about this 500 Ninja class. I know the new Ninjas now are 500 CC. They call it like a learner's bike almost. Is that pretty much a stock 500 from a Kawasaki? Yes, straight out of the bike. All we did last year was go through it, make sure we had good rings, good pistons in it. Uh, no issues, no, no ring, damaged bearings or anything. But other than that, it was pretty much stock. Okay, and you tell me that these 600s, even though it's only 100 cc more, there's a lot more done inside. There's a lot more power there. There's a lot more. I wouldn't say there's a lot more, a lot more done to them. We do the same things we did with the Ninja last year. Well, are they stock? These yes, 600s? They, these oh, are they stock. are. Yes. Yep. Yeah, that's part I didn't know then. Yep. They're both stock classes. Just everything's more in your face. There's a lot more acceleration with these cars than I was used to. I, I see. I ran. I ran a 600 twice last year, and the first thing I asked my uncle was, uh, what do I expect? Well, everything's going to be in your face, is what he told me, and he wasn't wrong about that. Okay, so just, everything so, just happens faster, yes. basically. Yep. And the competition is a little tougher, too, from what I've heard. Yes, very, very tough. We race against a good group of guys here at Paradise. There's a handful that are really quick, and that's what we want to be. So. Yeah, in order to race against those guys. So Now, do you travel much? Because I know there's places you can go where the competition level for 600s is through the roof, right? Not so much this year. I haven't traveled, but... There is a tour called NY6A Micro yes. Sprints that we do. I did hit one show at Weed Sport. That didn't go very well, but no. we won't get into that. Um, but yeah, they go all over the place. Bradford, PA, uh, Ford Hall, Skyline, just a bunch of tracks down south that don't get very, very heavy car counts that mm -hmm. won't invite us there any day of the week. So. Yeah, because there's some tracks in Pennsylvania though where yes. it's like yeah. they get uh, like a lot of these things and they're they're yep. big haulers and big teams, yep. right? Yeah, the PA guys are a whole different breed than we are in New York. That's kind of like the sprint cars, yeah. I think, realistically. Yeah. So uh, those guys, they're they're really quick, and they know their they do their homework, they know their stuff. Okay. So well, of course, Weedsport had to be fun because that that is a fun little track, isn't Weed's, it? Weedsport was fun for the ten laps that I got on it. Oh, that's we're, all. What, unfortunately, what we went we went for the hot laps and we went for the heat, and then the driver made a little error, and after the heat race, they hit the wall. So, oh, but, how bad? Uh, just right rear, rear axle, wheel pan hard, just everything that bolts on the rear end. Well, what did the driver do wrong? The driver got up into loose stuff. Oh, got it so, on purpose? Were you no, trying to dime in a corner just, or something? Just trying to get out of the way, anybody that's coming through, really. Out of oh, the okay. Place. Yeah, so nothing real. Learned from it though, right? Very, yeah, we came okay. back the next week and placed him here. Oh yeah, so came right back yeah. with a win, yeah. so yes. made you feel better. Yeah, me and my father didn't talk all week. We kind of <laughs> kind of hashed it out yeah. silently, but other than mm -hmm. that, we had a pretty good week. Yeah, because so. I've talked enough of you guys to know there's different reasons to be mad. Yes. Parts failure, we're yeah. mad, obviously. The motor goes, we're mad. But when it's the driver's mistake, it's a different yeah. feeling of oh, mad, oh, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's, it's a little cloud <laughs> over your head, but to come yeah. through that Saturday night, and, and with, a, with a different car, we rolled out the backup car, and it just, made, it just made it all correlated. We drew a number one pill, went out, won our heat, and then we started on pole for the future, and after that, we was gonna ask for a bad party. mood all week long, that week, huh? Just wake up in the morning and go, yeah, ah, that's yeah. it. I need a new memory here. Yeah, so, that's it. how much longer do we go here at Paradise this year? Uh, we have one more race after tonight. That's it. That's it. Yes. I think they do have some other races though, right? But maybe you guys just aren't on the card, nope. or is it they're actually done? Done. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure Wednesday nights they'll have practice up until November. Okay, yeah, that, I'm not sure about that. I'm sure they'll make a poster in the week on their Facebook okay. page. But yeah, after one more race, we're done here. I'm surprised more people don't take advantage of that Wednesday deal because this is the only sport out there, you can have a baseball bat, right. the traditional, that you can't practice. Right. So why wouldn't you? Did you take advantage of that when you were first coming up? Last year I did in the Ninja just to get a little bit of seat time because I didn't know I never drove a sprint, sprint car before. Well, it's got a wing, it's but, different, yeah. yeah. But other than that, I kind of just hopped in and went because I'm a big bowler. I bowl three nights a week. Okay. So I wasn't able to get here on Wednesday nights as much as I'd like to. Not until June but, when the leagues right, get over. Right. They go too darn long, I think, yeah, don't absolutely. they? Yeah, once the weather's warm, I don't 
I don't want to be inside bowling anymore. Right. Give me like middle of March, maybe. Yeah. Start like early November. Yeah, I'm looking nice. for a league like that. 32 weeks is too long. That's it like, is. Yeah, that's, that's more than half the season yeah. at that point. More than half the year. So good to meet you. I got an idea on something I might do here with him. So uh, make sure to look for that a little bit later on. So, Zach, wish you all the best, man. And uh, maybe we'll see you in victory lane tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it.